So welcome back to another episode of Shelly's Game Kitchen. What we're gonna do today is some South Texas antelope liver pate. And I've got my wonderful Broken Arrow Ranch South Texas antelope liver. So it's a beautiful piece of liver, very rich and decadent. So we're gonna make that into a pate and I'm gonna serve that with a caramelized onion apple jam on some baguette toast. So stick around while I bring the forest to your table. What we're gonna do now is get that South Texas antelope liver pate started. So what we wanna do, liver is so lean and rich, but you actually, you, so you need to add a little fat and butter is the best way to do it. So what we're gonna do here is just saute, get some butter melting and we're gonna saute off some onion with some anchovy. Again, that's gonna add some more flavored elements and, and it's, it's about the layers of flavor that you wanna add to any sort of meat that you're cooking, but any type of cuisine as well. So the, it's one of those secret ingredients is that chopped up anchovy. And then we're gonna saute off again with the garlic after we get the onion softened. And we're gonna deglaze with some cream sherry. And that's one of the things that I've really found goes wonderful with the liver. So let's get these all kind of softened. I'm not gonna, I don't really want color. I just want to soften them. So I'm going to get that in there with the butter and with a little pinch of salt. Get my salt well over. There we go. We always want to have a little bit of salt. And what I want to do while that's kind of softening is, so when I season protein, I kind of go by the surface, amount of surface that's on the protein and so forth. So. You know, this is gonna be approximately a tablespoon or a couple of teaspoons, it just depends. But first off, I wanna tell you what I did with that liver is I soaked it in buttermilk overnight. So I already did that and just drained it and took it out of there. So that's one of the things you wanna clean your liver, take out all of the kind of, uh, it's not tendons, it's, it's the little ventricle tubes and, and so forth. So make sure it's clean and whatnot because that'll just add to a little bit more of a decadent pate. So now, taking it out of that buttermilk, and I'm just gonna season it, surface season it with some of my herb seasoning. And again, like I said, it's, it's the amount of surface. So you can see how I'm gonna just kinda coating the surface. And that's good. And then always, at the end, we will taste for seasoning. Salt and pepper layers of seasoning. So those are kind of what we're gonna do is like I said, we're gonna saute these ingredients and then we're gonna put it all together and I'm gonna sous vide this because one of the secrets with liver is not overcooking it. Um, so you really, it's a delicate meat. So you really wanna treat it with delicate hands. And one of the best ways to do uh, delicate cooking is with a sous vide. So I use it a lot in this type of cooking, but also just to kind of make sure that you don't overcook it. So I'm also gonna saute in with that little bit of that anchovy. And then once the, you can kind of smell that garlic, cause I added that in there and it's only gonna take like 60 seconds. As soon as you smell it, let's add that sherry, the cream sherry in. Ooh yeah. We're just gonna deglaze the pan and reduce that cream sherry down. And you'll kinda again be able to smell what, when the alcohol comes off. And then what we'll do is we'll kinda add in our herb seasoned liver. And we'll just give it a quick, quick saute in this beautiful cream sherry, onion, garlic, anchovy mixture here. So that looks good. Now let's just add in our liver. And livers can be, it's one of those things that you either really enjoy or you really hate. <laughs> but I'm trying to challenge you to try and use more parts of the animal. It's so much more sustainable when you understand how you can use 
every part that's that of the animal. You know, they, they call it in, in some worlds the, the uh, nose to tail or the snout to tail. And so we really want to kind of respect the animal. It's a beautiful animal and we want to respect it and treat it right and enjoy everything that it can provide for us. So I'm just like I said, I want a quick sear on that. I'm not cooking it. I'm just developing flavors. And now what I'm going to do is shut the heat off and we're going to add this to a bag to go into our sous vide machine. And it's a, a immersion circulator to where it stays at the same temp and cooks it delicately and it doesn't overcook it. So let me get this into a bag and get it into the sous vide machine and when we come back I'll show you how we're gonna buzz that all up and make a pate out of it. I put that uh, South Texas antelope from Broken Arrow Ranch liver in the sous vide machine. So while that's cooking up, it's gonna take probably about an hour at a, I like to do it maybe 150, 155, and let that come gently to the right temp. So we're gonna get now to pair with it, I wanna make an apple onion jam, kind of a compote sort of a thing to serve on some baguette toast. So let's get some butter and let's get some olive oil as well. Kind of equal portions, couple tablespoons of each. Manage your heat a little bit. We're not trying to get color here, we just want to soften those up and let them caramelize and really kind of slowly come to temp. You always need salt on your layering your flavors, but also it helps release the waters that's in the ingredients or in your vegetables and helps to actually start that caramelization process. So we're just gonna soften these up a little bit. And we're gonna add our apples. So what I like to do when I'm making things like this is it depends on what I'm pairing it with. Like if I want to have something that has a little bit of tartness, I'll use a, a more of a tart apple, but a crisp tart apple. And then you see that I used red onion. Sometimes, you know, I might want to use a sweet yellow. It just kind of depends on what I am using all of these finished ingredients with. So because of it's the, the liver pate, I really want to have kind of a wonderful balance of flavors. So that's why I went with the tartar apple and a red onion, and we're just gonna let that cook down. I'm gonna add, after they soften a little bit, I'm also gonna add just a little bit of sugar and some molasses and some um, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water, and then also we're gonna finish it with some five spice powder. So those are starting to caramelize and soften just a little bit now. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of sugar I'm going to add that molasses in. Just that rich. Oh, I love molasses. It adds another layer of flavor. Let's mix all of that together. And then we'll add in our liquid components because that will help it to start to break down. That beautiful. Now let's go in with our apple cider vinegar. See that kind of starting to reduce down, that's perfect, that's what we want. But we need a little bit more liquid, so just a little bit of water. It's probably equal parts, vinegar and water, and I'm just gonna let that sit there and kinda cook down and get nice and soft and jammy. That's what we're looking for. What I've done now is taken that beautifully sous vide liver with all of those onions and the uh, herb seasoning, the garlic and the anchovy and pulsed that into a nice puree. So it's beautiful. And now I, I just added a, probably a couple tablespoons of cold butter and uh, blended that all together. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. This is about a half of a cup of 
Parmesan Reggiano. Don't go with the cheap stuff in this. We have this beautiful South Texas antelope from Broken Arrow Ranch. We don't want to use the cheap Parmesan. Go for the good stuff. And then this is lemon zest. And it just helps so much to brighten this pate up. And what I'm gonna do now is just kind of pulse that cheese in and the lemon zest in until it's nice and blended. And after that, we're gonna put it into a, a dish. I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap and we're gonna chill it for a bit. And when we're done with that and it's chilled and ready, we're gonna come back and plate. Montana flavor to savor. We've spent decades creating the best flavors for you to enjoy. All natural, no preservatives, gluten-free. No fillers, just flavor. You can trust Montana Flavor to Savor to bring you wholesome, all natural seasonings for whatever you're creating in your cuisine. Go to MontanaFlavorToSavor.com today. So I've got some toasted baguette here and our uh, South Texas antelope liver pate. And I'm just going to kind of get a little bit of schmear on these toast points. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of that apple onion jam. And we're going to take a taste of this and make sure it's good to serve to my guests. Mmm. The richness of the pate is cut through with just a little bit of the sweetness and tartness um, in that compote. It is such a beautiful, beautiful dish and an easy appetizer to serve to guests. It's an elevated way to use some of the, I hate the term, but they call it offal, but it's spelled O-F-F-A-L parts of that game meat. So Broken Arrow Ranch is such a beautiful wild and pure program so I can really trust when I get the awful ingredients that are actually delicious. So it's awfully delicious. So thank you for tuning in this episode of Shelly's Game Kitchen where we use Broken Arrow Ranch, South Texas antelope, liver, and I made a beautiful pate with that and an apple onion compote, and I'm gonna dish some of these up and serve them to my guests. Catch me next time while I bring the forest to your table. This episode of Shelly's Game Kitchen was sponsored by Broken Arrow Ranch. Go to BrokenArrowRanch.com.